what is up people it is sunrise here welcome to the channel and today we're going to take a look at the mx anywhere 2s from logitech so get yourself comfortable sit back and relax and we're going to dive right into it so for the unboxing experience i think logitech did a really good job with the packaging it's nice and simple and easy to open you just have to cut off the two tapes on the side and you'll be able to access everything on the inside. When you slide it out, there will be some paperwork which you will probably throw away without even looking at and a matte gray finish micro USB charging cable, the MX Anywhere 2S mouse itself and also a dongle or a unifier, whatever you want to call it. It's there for you, you'll be able to use it and that's it for what's inside the box. As for the design of the MX Anywhere 2S, it has a minimal branding of the Logitech logo on the back and has silver lining all around to complete with the look of the matte gray finish of the mouse itself. It is nice, small, and compact from where the name anywhere so you can bring this mouse anywhere you want to go. You can throw it in your pocket, can throw it in your backpack it's not gonna be a huge bother because this mouse is really light it's a hundred and five grams only so you can bring it wherever you go as for the battery life of the MX Anywhere 2S it is actually a rechargeable 500 milliamp hour battery in there and compared to the A batteries I can tell you it's a huge plus and let me tell you Rechargeable doesn't mean any less performance. Actually, on a full charge, this thing can get you 70 days worth of battery. How crazy is that? And 3 minute quick charge will get you a full day worth of battery if you ever forget something as unconventional as charging a mouse. Now, the charging part itself is not so much fun. You have to get the exact angle to plug it in or else it just won't plug in at all. So don't get frustrated, and it's not a huge deal breaker. Uh, the LED light will flash to indicate that you are charging, and will stop flashing when you're good to go for another 2 months plus of battery. Just in case if you haven't catched up on this, but the mouse is actually wireless. So good news, it is Bluetooth capable, so you'll just have to go into your Bluetooth settings, click on it, it'll be paired up in a few seconds, but what if you don't have Bluetooth? What if Bluetooth is being a rebel and doesn't want to work for you? Well, you still got that unifying receiver waiting for you as a backup solution. You'll just have to plug it in. It takes up a USB slot, but you can't complain about it because that's about the only thing you can complain about. It's so small and compact, you'll forget about it in no time because it is not getting in your way. On the bottom of the mouse, you will find a power button which you can slide up or down for on and off and also a button that lets you switch in between up the three computers that you pair with your mouse. Now, last but not least, there is the dark field high precision sensor which lets your mouse track on virtually any surfaces up to 4000 dpi. Now, the dpi is adjustable, we will see it later, but it lets you track on virtually any surfaces. It's some wild claims, so I decided to put it to test. As I was testing this mouse, I tried to use as many various surfaces possible to give this sensor a proper test. At the beginning, I used regular surfaces such as wood, mouse pad, or even your papers. And this mouse does a really really good job despite being wireless. You don't see any latency and the tracking is smooth and accurate. Now here's where this mouse differs from all the other cheaper mouses. This can track really well on glossy surfaces as well such as glass tables or even your tablet screen or your phone screen. It's gonna track really really well. If you travel around a lot and you need a mouse to work on your lap because you're constantly on flights this one might be it for you because not only is it light and compact it works on just about any fabric that your pants could be possibly made of so this one is a really good fit also 
What if you want to work from bed? Well, the ultimate not so scientific test on a plushie gives me the result that I was expecting to be far worse. So if you want to do some light binge watching or scroll through the internet on your bed, this mouse will get the job done. On the side of the mouse, you will see that there is a forward and a backward button, which are both fairly clicky and are easily accessed by your thumb on the side. Taking a closer look at the top of the mouse, you will realize that there is two small arrows marked beside the scrolling wheel, and that is because you can also scroll horizontally on this mouse. And let me tell you why it's such a breeze to do on this one. Because, first of all, it has really little resistance on the side, but has just enough to prevent you from mispressing it by accident. Also, the scrolling wheel itself has a really grippy texture to help you even more and experience that perfect side scroll. Moving on to the scrolling wheel itself, it has by far my favorite feature on it and that is the hyper fast scrolling. Let me explain. What it is, is you can switch between your standard scroll, which can you scroll through 6 to 10 lines on the web page at a time, and if you're going through longer documents or Wikipedia pages, you just press down the scrolling wheel once and it will switch to this mode where the scrolling wheel has close to no resistance. So once you give it a scroll, it will keep on turning until you stop it yourself, which makes going through like heavy documents with pages and pages of information a whole lot easier and will save you a lot of time as well. And here's the biggest reason why you should get yourself a mouse that is compatible with the Logitech software, like the MX Anywhere 2S. It's the versatility and the ability to customize just about anything on your mouse as you wish. And there's a ton of commands that you can choose from and change them to, like those side scroll buttons and that gesture button is super useful as well because of the number of things you can do. I've been personally using it for Windows management for a long time, ever since I bought this mouse. And it just increases your productivity, it saves you time, and you won't have to go to those keyboards commands ever again because you have it in the palm of your hand. And what's even more amazing about it is that you can actually separate all your customizations into different apps. So let's say you want to make it copy and paste in Microsoft Word, you can change it so that when you're using another application like Shotcut, you can use your forward and backward button for redo and undo instead of the copy and paste. This way you can make the most use out of all your buttons on the mouse. Of course you can also adjust your DPI through the software. But I gotta warn you, it's not the most precise because there are no actual numbers indicating how much DPI you're currently at. So if you really do want to modify it, you'll only have to go with your gut feelings. And last but not least, Logitech Flow. And that's a new feature that comes in with all the new Logitech mouse. And I could clearly see why this could be really useful. Not only is your mouse able to move through up to three different devices screen seamlessly but also in between these screens you can also transfer files and that means it eliminates the whole old-fashioned process of having to transfer a file to a disk or a USB and then plugging it in and into another device with Logitech Flow you only have to copy a document, drag the cursor over and then pasting it and voila, that's it. And I think this could be a huge upgrade for productivity and users that are actually working on projects and having to transfer files to different devices for different purposes. This could be a really useful feature to you. So. If you're looking to save time on transferring file, this feature is a must-have. This mouse is actually listed at $99 on Amazon, and it is pricey, but if you have the patience, you can wait until that price drops $30 or $40.
so you can get that maximum value out of your pocket. And even though it does cost a lot, it is a worthy investment because it's a really good mouse that you're going to be using for several years. Alright, so to conclude all that, this mouse is certainly great. It is portable, it has good sensors, it has a great scrolling wheel, and an incredible software that comes with it so you can customize everything to your liking. It is a wireless mouse, therefore reducing that wire from your desk making it a little bit cleaner and a little bit less disorganized. It can also get you through some light gaming if you'd like to play some games from time to time just to you know relax or just casually play with some friends it's gonna get the job done. In general I think the MX Anywhere 2S is definitely worth the investment because of how useful it is when it comes to working on your computer but also of how it enhances the mouse experience in general. Hey, if you actually made it through this whole video, I just wanted to say a huge thank you for sticking around. If you enjoyed it or found it useful, make sure to drop a like and comment down below if I should do more of these. If you want to show some love and support to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Until then, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next sunrise. Peace!